this problem we have a simple question how many grams of ice are needed to cool 351 grams of water at 24 degrees Celsius to a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius now we are given the heat of fusion uh, 334 joules per gram and the heat capacity of water which uh, should be memorized and it sounds pretty simple but um, I drew a diagram to try to help us understand what's going on here so we have uh, some ice, maybe it's one large ice cube, and a certain number of grams. We, we, we'll use a variable x here to describe that amount. And we have 351 grams of water at a certain temperature. And after the ice is added to the water, um, it melts, effectively adding to the uh, volume of water here. So that's why the level goes up. And afterwards, you have 351 grams of water plus the amount of um, ice that is melted, okay? So plus x grams of water. And all of this as it is at a temperature of four degrees Celsius. To solve this problem, you wanna start out by um, using the conservation of heat. Basically, uh, heat gained plus uh, heat loss is equal to zero. What this says is there's a conservation of energy. The amount of heat gained is exactly equal to that amount that is lost by an object. Okay. In this reaction, or in this uh, scheme here, we have a couple of things going on. We have uh, the ice melting, and when ice melts, remember, uh, there's a gaining of heat. Thermal energy is inputted into the ice in order for it to melt. So ice melting is um, <clears throat> a form of heat that's gained. Also, when this ice water here is initially formed, it's at zero degrees Celsius, but it warms up to four degrees Celsius um, when it's at equilibrium with the other remaining water. So um, number two, would be the ice water warming. And finally, um, the third thing that happens here is the water cools down. So we have, of course, this water here, 351 grams, and all that 351 grams gets cooled down to four degrees Celsius. So that's uh, the water um, cooling. Now when water cools down, uh, heat is taken out of it. So the amount of heat lost must be equal to that um, heat gained over here. Okay, so this is the uh, water cooling. So basically we just need to calculate each of these three things, um, basically divide and, and conquer here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So for Q1, um, when ice melts, melting is fusion. So we need to use the heat of fusion here. So this is going to be equal to the mass times the heat of fusion. Because here we have the heat of fusion per gram. So um, x, well, we, we don't know how much ice we have, right? So this is just going to be 334 times x. And that's all I know right now for that quantity. Now for Q2, again, we said um, the ice water warms up. The ice water warms from uh, 0 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius. And how many grams of that are warming up? This quantity here. So the warming equation is the mc uh, delta t so the mass of of that ice water or water here is x and the heat capacity is 4.184 joules per gram per degree celsius and what's the change in temperature the change in temperature here is always the final temperature minus the initial temperature 
So I'll write this in purple so you can know that I'm working with the Q2 here. So that's T final minus T initial. Final temperature is 4. And the initial temperature is 0. So this value is a positive 4 degrees Celsius Okay, for the delta T. All right. And if we uh, multiply all that out, we get 16.72x. Okay, so we have this variable that we have to contend with. All right, now um, for the third process, we have uh, water cooling. So we have all this quantity, 351 grams of water. That cools down quite a bit. And for this, um, Again, we use the MC delta T. The mass is 351 grams. The heat capacity of water is 4.184. Okay, I'll leave the units off here. I'm kind of running out of space. The change in temperature as this green shaded water changes of this is the final temperature minus the initial. So pay attention to the signs here. The final temperature is 4. The initial temperature is 24. And so it's minus 20 degrees uh, Celsius for the change there. So for Q3 we have a value of, it's rather large, minus 29,371.7 uh, joules. Okay, so there's no x here, but we have x's here. All right. Now we go back to um, our setup here using this equation. Plug everything in. Basically, we're saying that Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 is equal to zero, and we have all of these uh, values here from the different uh, processes. So 334 times x plus 16.72x minus, right, there's a minus sign here, 29,371.7 joules is equal to uh, 0. So uh, there's a little bit of algebra to do here. So uh, 350.72 x is equal to this value here and after doing the work we get um, 83.7 so x is 83.7 grams and that's the answer okay so if we add 83.7 grams of ice to this many grams of water at the end, we'll have a combined mass here that um, is much larger, okay? So that's how you do this problem. It's rather complicated. Work through the individual steps for all three components that are uh, changing, and go ahead and use this heat gain plus heat loss is equal to zero to solve this problem. Thanks for watching.